Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Paul, and once again, this is a short story of the day. This is Coriolis by T. L. Huchu from Fire issue number 12. And um, this was a science fiction story that was pretty complicated, but it was very good. T. L. Huchu, uh, his work has appeared in Lightspeed, Interzone, Afro SF, Apex Book of World SF5, Elderly Queen Mystery Magazine, Mystery Weekly, The Year's Best Crime and Mystery Stories 2016, and elsewhere. So he's a pretty established short story writer. His stories have won the Nomo Award for African SF and been shortlisted for the Kane Prize and the Grand Prix de the Imaginar. <laughs> he enjoys working across different genres, especially SFF, crime, and literary fiction. The Library of the Dead, the first novel in his Ghost, Ghost Talker fantasy series, will be released in spring 2021. So, let's we'll see if I can kind of talk about this story. So, Coriolis is a really interesting science fiction story of individuals that are going to colonize a new, a new planet. And then there's another storyline of the people that colonized it later on and what they have done. And what I really liked about this story was the way it talked about microbes and individual uh, biodomes like, uh, like probiotics in our gut, uh, the organisms that are, are in our bodies is relevant to the planet we live on so before they got to this planet they removed all of those organisms from earth that we have in our body to accept the organisms from Coriolis into their system like basically creating a whole new bacteria uh, probiotics things of that nature into their own body and the story talks about how different planets would change different people because of that. They would um, like become taller, or they, you know, they would change in some different way. And I thought that was a really interesting bit of world building that I haven't seen yet in any short story or novel, and I loved that. And so the uh, other part of the story is in the future. Um, from after they land and one of the individuals that first landed wants to become even more so integrated into the biosphere of the planet and so she, uh, I think it's a woman and she does things to make that happen um, I thought this was written really well it's very much a a thinking science fiction story um, and the going back and forth from the timelines was a little confusing I think there's a third timeline too but I didn't really get that one all that much uh, but the world building was really good it's written really well and I'm gonna maybe try his book when it's released next year um, because I didn't really like this story. I thought it was interesting. And I would love to see his world building in a novel uh, length. Okay? So that was um, Coriolis by T.L. Huchu. And it was good. Uh, tomorrow we have In Irrational Love by America Bailey. This is actually a longer uh, story. It's 15,000 words. This one here was 7,000, so 15,000 is quite long. I don't, I'm not sure if it's quite novella length, but I think it might be. So that would be good. All right, see you later.